What's up ladies and gentlemen, still greetings here from the CBIT 2016 and today we're here with Microsoft presenting the Microsoft Hub. We were lucky to get one representative of Microsoft, so could you quickly introduce yourself? Yes, my name is Andre Hansel, I'm the product manager for Windows and Devices in the product group in Germany. And yes, we have here some, some very nice, awesome products. It's a Surface Hub, it's our new collaboration device. All right, so it's pretty huge. What can I do with it? And yes, it's, 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 it's a collaboration device, like, like putting it in a meeting room or in a collaboration area. You can, can start the meeting if you take the pencil and the device starts with a whiteboard session. And I know I can start make, making some pictures on my device and changing colors. It's something not new, but interesting thing is if I go there and need some other colleagues for, for this whiteboard session, I go there and search for some, someone in this meeting, I can invite other Surface Hub, other people, like it's a Skype for Business session, or go there and take a call with a scheduled meeting, for example, go there and know I'm in the lobby and waiting for my other participants, go there, can, can share my screen and so on. But it's not going with the whiteboard session, I can do very much more, like, like for example, opening an app, like going there, for example, we have a, a Siemens app for manufacturing industry. I go there and opening a radial, en a radial engine, for example, like this one can go there. We can work together, I close this, and, and work on this, this screen with, with some, some problem resolution. And what you see is that we can, can make some notes on the device and everyone who's on the call can see this. And what's, what's interesting is after a meeting you normally take the meeting notes and you can share easily your meeting notes. You put on the little envelope, the email program opens and what we see is that we send out a picture, a PNG and of course a OneNote session so I can import it to my OneNote and we see it's automatically my, my participants from, from the video call, from the Skype for Business session I included. I can invite some more people, that's like all the Surface Hub we have here of our CBIT booth and can, can send out my meeting notes so everyone gets my notes and we can't forget it and everyone has the preparations. So that's pretty good and you mentioned Skype for Business, so you also need a webcam and there is none on the top, so it has actually yes. two cameras. Yes, we have, we have integrated two cams, on, on, on the left and on the right hand side we have two microphone arrays so that the light and the motion sensors that we see are where we are standing in front of the device and it's important that we put it not on the top of the device because you won't see the conference room or us from an eagle eye perspective. It's more like, like in front of us and that everyone who take uh, part in the Skype for Business sessions they see our faces, not our head. All right, so pretty cool looking device. How much is it and main target group? Uh, yes, so the small one is 55 inch device with a full HD resolution with an Intel Core i5 processor. It's, it's approximately 10,000 euros we had it here for the price, list price. And the big one is the 84 inch device with a 4K resolution with an Intel Core i7 processor. It's around about 25,000 euros. Main target audience are companies with, with uh, many sites like, like having the need for collaboration. It's not only that every employee is based on the same site it's more like distributed around the world or distributed in, into in, in Europe and working what, what we see is with with, with um, products that's not so easy to handle like like manufacturing industry automotive industry so where we can can share information and where we have the need to collaborate like like collaboration with with customer collaboration with my supplier and all the stuff one last question since it's used mainly for business and you store sensitive data on the, um, what happens with the data? Oh, we store no data on this. Like, like a norm, normal situation, when you're leaving your conference room, your flip chart, you don't erase every time your flip chart or your whiteboard, so the meeting after you sees your notes. With Surface Hub, I go only here on this little button, set I'm done, and when I put it I'm done, the complete device reset. So, no information stays on the device like my, my um, OneNote session, my, my login information, like when I open like, like a PowerPoint uh, or so and then sign in into Office 365, it's completely deleted, so it's a fresh cleanup device, so now one after me can see my information. One more thing, it's, that is it's a fully managed device, it's a Windows 10 device, so it's, it's working with an Office 365 account, like a conference um, device, and we have the uh, mobile device management, for example, this device are managed via Microsoft Intune, but you can other, take other um, 
MDM solutions. So if you, for example, have 200 surface hubs around the world and you have to install an app, so you, you don't need to travel with a USB stick to go around the world, so you can do it centrally from your mobile device management. All right, guys, so that looks like a pretty innovative solution. We're now going to check out the new Surface Book, so make sure you also check out this video. Link will be down below in the description. Now, thanks for watching and see you soon in the next one. Thank you.